Jerry, a fine evening at Twerne Park, scintillating second half. Must be one of the best evenings you've had here at the club. Brilliant. Yeah, I mean, makes it even more special when it's a Somerset derby, obviously the local derby. The thing before the game was, was very much around not trying to take away the league position, the points. We've done that too often, I think, and said, you know, if we beat them, they've paid a game extra, we go two points. We needed to take that out of it and just say, just as, as it is really, it's a local derby, play like it's a local derby. Because if you don't do that against a team like Taunton, then you you come up against a really difficult night. So you've got to win your battles, you have to set up right. And I thought I thought tactically tonight, we were absolutely superb. We changed the system, as you know. Um, we paid them the utmost respect in doing that. We know that they load balls in the box from deep areas, quality balls, and they put lots of crosses in the box. And we went man to man with their wing backs, literally. And I said to the two boys, Dan Hayfield and Dan Green, said, if we don't see you all night you've done your job and I wanted to make it a game that was more central in the pitch hence why we played two tens behind Scotty Wilson Cody was really difficult to leave out tonight but I had to tactically um, Dan Hayfield as we know has played at wing back before and probably doesn't want to play there but he has to he has to go and do a job for us um, and he went in and played really well as well so I thought it was a, a wonderful night 1500 people in here again um, the pitch was fantastic played brilliant for a local derby and the goals we scored were immense and um, I just think we were the better side tonight after a after a shaky f first five or ten minutes Wills had to pull off a brilliant save um, but after that I thought we were we were excellent tonight yeah, you're right to point out that brilliant save from Will Wusted by his yeah. first touch of the ball as well. And what he only signed today, he'd even have time to meet his teammates, know what type of goalkeeper he is or in among the defence and such like. Well, we do. That's why I got him because he was the easiest one to go and get. And I have to thank Mark Cooper. Um, people question it probably and say, well, why is he oval giving Bath City a keeper? Well, purely because Mark's good enough to understand that he needs to play football. Um, a player of, of his quality will want to go out and play. Mark's got another very good number one down there. And um, I get well with Mark whatever people may think about the rivalry the two clubs me playing there at times um, and having a season there it, it's irrelevant for now it's about me managing Bath trying to get the right keeper in I tried to sign Will before we got in a keeper um, before last year um, and we couldn't quite do it and then he gets his move from Bristol City to Yeovil which is great you know full time outfit and um, yeah it's great I'm, I'm, I'm pleased he's coming he knows me I know him he knew a few of the players I knew he'd be really good with his distribution and um, I thought we had an excellent debut for us tonight. And then at the other end of the pitch, the last time we failed to score at home was against Taunton back on Good Friday when you had a very tired team by your own yeah. admittance. And we've got the complete opposite now, fresh legs. Just uh, in the second half, Jordan Thomas opening the scoring with a fine finish in 57 minutes. I think we were scintillating, honestly, second half. I, I, well, I enjoyed watching that from the side. It was amazing. I love celebrating the goals with the lads and the backroom staff. And when Jordan picks up that ball in that inside right area, that's Jordan Thomas area, isn't it? We know now that he's going to come in but like Mares, if you like comes in on his left foot and um, it's going to hit the target for sure and he hits it so well it's a great goal and then obviously Scotty gets his poachers goal I thought he was immense tonight by the way we've always challenged him about his link up play because we know he's good when he's in on goal I thought tonight he was strong physical backed into the centre backs linked it really well a real pest all night for those centre backs with Ewan up there as well as a front three sort of 3v3 and 1v1s and um, wow he gets his goal which he deserves and then the, phew, the third one poor we're right behind it again I mean Danny's hit one here last season not as good as that one that, that one's gone right across the goal it's a great move as well that's built up into it by the way really good play Dan Hayfield I think it was driving infield mm -hmm. And for Dan Greenslade to pick up that area as a wing back, expecting him to be wide and going, that's football intelligence. And I've got to give credit to the players tonight because we, we worked so hard on this system tonight and worked so hard on this shape just with him talking. We had him in early. We did a presentation in the dressing room, went through it. There's a lot of detail tonight, but they're the ones who have to carry it out. And um, only players who've got football intelligence could do what we asked of them tonight. The line was aggressive and high. The gaps were filled. We pressed at times when we wanted to. And that was a real intelligent, tactical display from Bath City tonight. And the players deserve all the credit on that. Heart in mouth at the disallowed goal. Well, obviously... When the pleasing thing at first for me is because we had this Saturday at least the referee and the assistant had a discussion that's important that happens I think what's happened in it is Rob would be disappointed obviously but I think I don't think there's been a touch if I'm being honest but I think they're in the line of the ball where Will gets distracted and they're in an offside position and that is offside unfortunately so we deserve a bit of luck the last two weeks we haven't had that everything's gone against us transpired against us whether it's people pulling up 
um, early with injuries in games, before games. Our goalkeeper, and my, my best wishes goes to Ollie, by the way, because I've had a really opportunity. I know after the game we did, he's had a scan tonight, so we'll see how he is. He's been brilliant for us. And um, we had that bad luck Saturday. But tonight we've come in, and when you can put on Chris Lines, Cody Cook, Elliot Freer, we haven't got a big squad, but that's amazing. To put those boys on in a game, in any game, but put them on tonight and just control the game a little bit better again, uh, that, that for me is really pleasing. Players will be disappointed, but they also know it's a squad game, and um, I think we got it right tonight. Bath City got it right from, from my backroom staff through to the players. We got it absolutely spot on. Yeah, a quick one on Chris Lines. You brought it on. It was his 50th appearance. He hasn't played since the end of August. What's he just like to have around the groups? He's not playing, but it doesn't feel like he's a bad egg. The best. Yeah. Absolutely the best. I've got to say that. I, I've got to say I've got, I've got some wonderful professionals in that dressing room, whether young lads or senior ones. Chris Lines is probably one of the best I've had because, yeah, he, he's not playing a lot. I, I've got no qualms in putting him on. It's not been quite right in recent games to do that. And yeah, he, he couldn't come one the other week, could he, just for a personal issue that I'd agreed that he could have off. So we've got a real trust with each other, a real understanding. And his game intelligence brilliant. So any detail that I might ask of him, it'll come back straight away. And he understands how we want to play, importantly. And um, he's a big part of us, like they all are, a massive part of us. Jordan Dyer's not far away now. He's trained tonight, so he might be available for Saturday, if not next week. Um, and that's what we want. We want competition from places. But tonight it's about celebrating a Somerset local derby. Fantastic performance. Thanks to the crowd. They made it special. I think it does when it rains. They all go under the popular side over there and it echoes out. It's a great feeling. Everyone would have enjoyed that for sure. And um, now we've got, to, we've got to recover, rest up and, and look forward to a game against a really difficult side, as we know, in Worthy. And I know they've lost tonight, but, but they're a very good side. Adam's got them going. Um, and we'll have to be at our best on Saturday. Thanks very much, Jerry, and go off and enjoy the evening. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks. Mark.